And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Arbacadon, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. We're keeping with the Troodontids here because Arbacadon was a Troodontid that lived in the late Cretaceous and what is now Uzbekistan. The paleo art depicts it as very bird-like with a long tail, long legs with sharp claws and having a beak. Now, Troodontids, of course, have lots of bird-like features. They're small to medium in size, and they're known from North America and Asia. They were agile, they had good vision and hearing, and a relatively large brain, and they had long legs and were probably fast runners. Like you were just saying, some of them might have been basically herbivores. Yeah. Which is kind of weird for that set of features, but sometimes dinosaurs are weird. <laughs> yeah, Therizinosaurus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, troodontids are pretty rare. Yeah, they're definitely not the most common ones in the fossil record. Yeah. The type species of Urbacodon is Urbacodon idemirensis. It was named in 2007 by Alexander Averyanov and Hans Seuss. The genus name Urbacodon means Urbac tooth. And Urbac, U R B A C, it's an acronym in honor of the Uzbek, Russian, British, American, and Canadian scientists who worked on this discovery. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. I love when these scientific groups bridge, you know, these divides with countries that might not be getting along super well all the time. It just seems so nice. Yeah, it's always nice to have multicultural studies going on. The species name Idamirensis refers to Idamir, which is the type locality. And the first dinosaur bones found in the formation where Urbacodon was found, in the Darjara Kaduk formation, they were found back in 1914 by A.D. Ark Hengelski. A lot of geologists visited this area in the 1930s, and the best find at that time was a complete turtle shell. Was it the best find? Of the 1930s. I guess. <laughs> I feel like they might have found a dinosaur. <laughs> well. <laughs> that we would consider better. <laughs> then in 2004, enter Urbacodon. The holotype is a single left lower jaw or dentary with teeth. And this jaw was found on September 9th of 2004. The dentary is about 3.1 inches or 79 millimeters long. And it's got 32 teeth. That's a lot of teeth for such a small jaw. Yeah. Or I should say placements for 32 teeth. Oh, yeah, because they're not always all preserved. Yeah. Uh, the dentary looks straight. There's a gap between the front 24 teeth and the back 8 teeth, but that could be due to individual variation. The teeth, however, were not serrated. So hmm. this, yeah, this is one of the few troodontids with unserrated teeth. I didn't know there were any troodontids with unserrated teeth. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few others, including Archaeornithoides, Byronosaurus, and May. Hmm. Is that May long? It is. Now, Arbacodon looks similar to Byronosaurus in May, but there's differences in the grooves and tooth crowns. Also, Arbacodon is much bigger than May. Hmm. Arbacodon, though, is closely related to Byronosaurus and Shishiosaurus. And this discovery helped show that there was more troodontid diversity in Asia than we previously thought. There have been teeth and other fossils described by Lev Nesov were found in the nearby Bisecti Formation, and those were referred to Urbacodon species, so some sort of species of Urbacodon. Hard to know from just teeth. Yes. Well, there were a few other fossils. So in 2016, Averyanov and Suze described in more details the fossils that they assigned to Urbacodon species. And they include teeth, parts of the jaw, a partial brain case, vertebrae, and parts of the feet. There's enough similarities to know it belongs to Urbacodon, but they just don't know enough yet to assign it to the same species. Because it's hard when the holotype's just the lower jaw. Yeah. And they didn't find a lower jaw. Oh, maybe. He said parts of the jaw. Parts of the jaw. But yeah, enough to know Urbacodon. Urbacodon species, these fossils, they look similar to Byronosaurus, Gobi Venator, and Shishiosaurus, and there's no teeth serrations. They did a phylogenetic analysis, and they didn't find a clade of troodontids from Asia with unserrated teeth, however. So that's not the thing that they have in common. Hmm. And other animals that lived around the same time and place included salamanders, turtles, crocodiliforms, and pterosaurs. 
For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 